Hi, I'm Ian Stewart. I'm very happy to be here and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to paint a Scottish Highland scene, which is one of my absolutely favorite subjects. Uh, views in the Highlands are spectacular, especially if you make the effort to get up there and see them. And what I want to do is I want to cool and warm. This is going to be a dry brush, so this brush, watch, I will be pushing it. You can't really see what's going on there, but as soon as I come back with color and put it in, you can begin to see the shapes that I'm forming. And then I'll come back in with clear water and fade some of those shapes out. But the important thing to note is what I'm doing is painting over some of these distant mountains, which further pushes them back. Um, I think I need a little nice clean cobalt too, and you'll see what, what that can do. It just sort of freshens things up a little bit. This is something I highly suggest you do on a practice sheet of paper before attempting it on a larger watercolor because it's really the kind of the thing that will either save or ruin a painting. I'm just going to soften that edge. Again, so we're playing with that lost and whole or the whole lost and found thing again. And you can see, you know, my brush is, um, it's splitting. So certain hairs are moving off and clumps are going thing. And this is how I'm getting this kind of um, these nice little jaggy ends and pieces. I'm sure that's the proper term for it too. So I'll just continue this and paint through the, the distant mountains as well. This is basically clear water now from my jug, or as clear as that is anyways. I'll coax a little of this stuff down. Step back and take a look at it, see if anything's bugging me. Nothing seems to be. What this does is it's going to soften all of this um, and really put it, you know, enhance that feeling of aerial perspective. Mm -hmm. 